Hello friends and welcome back to the part 19 of this tutorial series wherein we will check the login functionality okay and I'm really sorry for uh, not publishing any new video for quite some time as I was really busy with my official work okay so for the authentication we will be using a package known as passport okay and we currently we have uh, this section working fine and we have categories our posts and we can also register a new user let me quickly do that one John Doe JD at JD.com password is one two three and if I do that it says email already exists and I think yep so it's there right so it's working so my registration code is working now we want to hook up the login functionality so very uh, first of all we will uh, go to this website and see what is a passport a passport is a package for node.js and it helps us with the authentication and uh, using various strategies we can use local strategy or maybe we can use OAuth with Google and Facebook. Okay, for this for this tutorial, we will be uh, using the local strategy only. Okay, so if I search for local, I'll be using this passport hyphen local strategy. Okay, so I have already installed the packages using npm. You can go ahead and install that. So in our default route, we have this uh, post route for login okay and we want to hook few code here and for the actual uh, uh, code here inside the controller we don't want to do anything okay so let's go back here I'm gonna import a uh, few variables like first one is passport require passport and I'm gonna require local let's do <coughs> require passport local also I think uh, I need we crypt JS okay it's a package that will be used for uh, validating my passwords okay this will be p crypt JS and my user model will be require user model user so first of all we have to define our local strategy defining local strategy okay so we will use the passport variable and we'll define a, we'll use a use function and new strategy it's local let's name it local strategy We have to use the strategy uh, of uh, property here. Okay, so local strategy, and this takes an argument. So here, since we are using the email as our username field, so we have to tell it that we want to use e email instead of the default username. Okay, and this name, this uh, value comes from your form. Okay, this is a name value. You can put anything here, and that should reflect here. Okay. Also, I'll use pass request to callback, so it will pass the REQ object to the callback function. Okay. So once we have this, what we want, we want to uh, 
to run the callback function here so that will that will pass the email password and a done function okay so first of all we'll check user.find1 and we'll try to match the email that has been sent so if you find any user in our database corresponding to that email address what I want to do we want to first check if the user object exists okay if it exists if it does not exist we will simply return null false and a flash message okay will be of type error message and uh, let's say it will say user not found oops not found with this email okay if the user is found you want to compare the passwords okay password with the user password it will match the hashes and if there is a match then we want to run another callback and check for any errors return uh, else if the password does not match okay. if the password did not match so we want to return another uh, another error message and we'll return null false request dot flash so the error message we invalid username or password we didn't want to give a hint to the uh, user that the password was incorrect so that he can uh, avoid doing brute force attacks okay and if everything is correct and a, and a valid user is found and the password is correct then we want to return the user okay with a flash message success message this will say login successfully okay so let me just close the brackets so once we do that we also want to serialize and deserialize uh, the user okay and this code you can find here just go here and control F I think you under the strategies right local uh, search for Passport. Where is it? Passport. Serialize user. It should be here actually. If you go to documentation and now do a search here. Yeah. So just simply copy the code here and this uses sessions. Okay. And since we are already using uh, express session here in the app.js file, we just remember uh, yeah, we are using sessions here. Okay, so we are good. I'm going to copy the code from here and paste it just below my definition. Okay, so once this is done then we have to go to our post route here and before we call our controller okay I'm gonna put a comma and say passport dot authenticate so I'm gonna use a local strategy here and I can define few options like what I want to do after the login is successful I want to redirect to the let's say admin page okay and similarly we can have failure redirect let's say it will go to login 
okay similarly we will have failure flash true success flash set to true okay so our flash messages will uh, show us when there is an activity okay and let us use session true okay so once you do this and go back to the browser refresh the page uh, refresh it okay if I try to authenticate with a uh, invalid credential say invalid username or password but if I use the correct one say it's login successful and welcome to admin dashboards so that's about it for the authentication part you can read the documentation and uh, see how you can use Facebook Google Twitter uh, with the help of OAuth and it is it is really a very powerful uh, package you can say and gives you a lot of functionality out of the box okay so try exploring it and let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video till then thank you and have a wonderful day